Kim Jong-un asserts the genuine reason America is pushing for a war with North Korea is so the CIA can take control of the poppy fields and create opium. Preceding the U.S. intrusion of Afghanistan, the Taliban had effectively annihilated the opium poppy edits in the nation. Around 16 years after the fact, following the U.S. attack, the medication trafficking business is blasting, with U.S. troops guarding the country's 90% offer of the world's opium supply. Thefreethoughtproject.com reports, potential contenders appropriately appeared to be rare. That is, until North Korea quite recently said no to the drug war. In its beginning time, the Kim Jong-un administration announced a war against drugs, disposing of poppy fields, Kang Kyal Hwan, leader of the Turncoat Association, North Korea Strategy Center, disclosed to Yonhap News Agency a month ago. However, now they are developing them once more. North Korea's opium poppies stayed in any event fairly discharged from its nationals under the run of Kim Jong-il. In an August 2011 meeting with NPR, Ma Young A, a turncoat and previous North Korean spy who lives in Virginia, clarified she worked for Kim Jong Il's inside police compel. Her employment was to find sedate runners. That sounds like entirely ordinary law requirement, aside from one contrast. She should stop little time Korean street pharmacists with a specific end goal to ensure the greatest street pharmacist in the nation the North Korean government. Mama disclosed to us the North Korean government delivered opium on a substantial scale. Be that as it may, it conceals its poppy fields from the greater part of the populace. Mama just observed the fields since she was an insider. In the wake of gathering the fields, the administration would put its void production lines to utilize. The administration would turn on its generation lines during the evening and process opium, Ma says. At that point they would pack the item in plastic 3D squares the span of word references and pirate it out of the nation through China. Kim Jong-il's child and successor rather battled a war on drugs, until the point that the Chinese Commerce Ministry suspended imports of coal from February through the finish of the year, because of one of Pyongyang's argumentative ballistic rocket tests. Confronted with the fast loss of hard money and a daunting task to finance the administration's exercises, coal included an expected 40 percent of North Korea's fares to China, Kim Jong-un seems to have cozied to the wallet-stuffing potential outcomes the prized poppy gives. Taking note of the war on drugs had just fizzled, Kang included, the North is developing poppy fields again for sedate sneaking as an approach to secure assets to deal with its administration. Financing the whole government's operations from the development and creation of opium ought to be simple, should unlawful markets come up short, America has a guileful fixation on opioids. Several thousands every beyond words overdoses from heroin, opioids, as well as their synthetics in the United States, alone, in huge part, affability of the pharmaceutical business careless commitment to painkillers. Vox announced March 29 the opiate pestilence has all around been caused by the ascent in opiate overdose passings. To start with, opiate painkiller overdoses started to ascend, as specialists started to round out a record number of solutions for the medications trying to treat patients' dormant conditions. At that point, individuals snared on painkillers started to move over to heroin as they or their wellsprings of medications lost their remedies. What's more, as of late, more individuals have started moving to fentanyl, an opiate that is much more intense and less expensive than heroin. The outcome is a fatal pandemic that so far hints at no backing off. Furthermore, how might it back off? Opioids doled out like sweet by specialists and healing facilities to those agony yet unconscious of the dependence entanglements inalienable in rising resistance, here and now solutions, and, specifically, the accessibility of strong substances like heroin and fentanyl on the bootleg market. This isn't by a long shot simply an issue to be faulted for illicit exchange drugs. Media Roots Abby Martin expounded on the poison of the opiate emergency in 2014, expressing, In the present globalized universe of control revenue driven, one can't rebate the part that multinational partnerships play in U.S. outside approach choices either. 
not just have oil organizations and private military contractual workers raked in huge profits off the occupation, enormous pharmaceutical organizations, which on the whole entryway more than $250 million yearly to Congress, require opium latex to fabricate drugs for this bill upbeat country. To the extent the political first class channeling the spoiled assets, the current HSBC bank embarrassment uncovered how trillions of dollars in bootleg market deals are audaciously being washed seaward. For the appreciated help opiate painkillers offer the individuals who endure extreme inconvenience, the pharmaceutical's profoundly addictive nature leaves specialists hesitant to compose solid solutions. Be that as it may, if resistance fabricates, and restorative workforce decline to build dose in like manner, those as yet confronting intolerable agony frequently shop illegal businesses, where the immaculateness and well-being of substances can't be confirmed, to supplement their provisions. It must be noted, America's opiate pestilence mushroomed simply after U.S. troops attacked Afghanistan. Inside a half-year of the U.S. attack, composed Matthew Eikens for the December 4, 2014, Rolling Stone, the warlords we upheld were running the opium exchange, and the spring of 2002 saw a guard gather of 3,400 tons. Only preceding boots and bombs hitting the ground, opium generation in Afghanistan tumbled to a great low of 185 pounds, very amusingly, on account of Taliban endeavors to annihilate the whole supply of opium poppies. Mint Press News Narmahesh composed a year ago. The war in Afghanistan saw the nation's basically dead opium industry extended significantly. By 2014, Afghanistan was creating twice as much opium as it did in 2000. By 2015, Afghanistan was the wellspring of 90% of the world's opium poppy. Asserting psychological warfare as the driving force for attacking Afghanistan would be at any rate as silly as the Drug Enforcement Agency guaranteeing the worldwide war on drugs has been a win. Taliban powers have returned in quality to the country whose opium poppies are watched by U.S. troops, who are putatively present to battle in the continuous war on terror. After a minute profoundly considering the last direct, its basic toward address current occasions, particularly, U.S. military vessels effectively show in the South and East China Seas, in the midst of hazardously high pressures with North Korea. North Korea, who reported weeks back its crippled economy would look for alleviation from, yes, the development and creation of opium poppies. Interminably hawkish Pyongyang is no more odd to overstatement and military ability, to such an extent. Dangers of direct atomic strikes by North Korea against the United States are ordinarily minimized by Washington, if not rejected with a scornful smile. Pyongyang's trying of ballistic and different rockets has been regarded a danger to the national security of South Korea, where a U.S. rocket barrier framework pointed north has additionally uplifted threats on the promontory and in the district. Of one such rocket dispatch Sunday, Defense Secretary James Mattis rebuked, the pioneer of North Korea again heedlessly attempted to incite something by propelling a rocket. Kim in Ryong, North Korea's deputy ambassador to the United Nations, cautioned on Monday the U.S. has made an unsafe circumstance in which an atomic war may break out at any moment, including, Pyongyang is prepared to respond to any method of war sought by the U.S. Regardless of whether that war incorporates plans for the U.S. usurpation of North Korea's strict money harvest of opium poppies will without a doubt be resolved soon.